Hey y'all, it's Andrea with The Cutest Little Thing. Thanks so much for hopping on to watch this video today. If you enjoy thrift flips, DIYs, home decor, upcycling, and all of the things, then you're at the right place. If you've never been to my channel before, welcome and I hope you like what you see. And if you've hung out with me before, thank you so much for coming back. All right, let's get started with today's projects. I picked up this beautiful vintage swan picture from the thrift store not too long ago. I want to go in with this fusion blue pine color around on the frame. I have been loving this color. If you saw last week's video, well, it was actually this week's video on Tuesday that that video was uploaded. I used that color for a lot of those projects. So if you missed that, go back and watch that so you don't miss anything. I ended up doing two coats on this frame. I did not tape it off or anything. The paint, if I get any on the glass, it scratches off really easily. So I did clean this frame really well with some rubbing alcohol and wipes before I began painting. And then once I am finished with both coats, I let one coat dry completely before I go on to the second coat. And then once that is completely dry, I just go around and clean any boo-boos off that frame that I get on there with the paint. I was a little undecided what I wanted to do with this picture. And unfortunately, I only found one at the thrift store that day. I looked and looked, hoping there would be a second one there because I know these usually come in a set. But I did not see another one anywhere. So I just took the one and I was happy to find it. And I wasn't sure what color I wanted to paint the frame and then when I paired the blue pine with the blue in the in the image there it was almost a perfect match. Now I'm going in with Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in the white and I'm just brushing a good bit of that wax all around that frame. I'm just rubbing it in there really well with my paintbrush. I'll let it set a couple of minutes and then I'll wipe away the excess with a dry paper towel. I'm getting in that crack really good. It's like you want that wax to just set in there and wipe away the excess, leaving, leaving it in those cracks and crevices. Look how pretty this turned out, you guys. Let me know what you think. I love vintage prints like this. I usually grab them up when I'm at the thrift store and bring them home to make them over and give them a new life. I wanted to do another project using that pretty blue pine color with in the Fusion brand. So I grabbed this large metal decor piece. Um... And I just began, I cleaned it up really nicely and I went in and did a full coat of that fusion paint all over it. I love the details on this piece, those raised edges. I love the medallions and the scroll at the top. Um, it was just a really pretty piece and I knew this color would be beautiful on it. And look at it, it's already gorgeous. I did two coats for good measure. The fusion paint, it covers so well. One coat really looked great, but I just wanted to do two coats just in case. Fusion also has a built-in primer and sealer, so it's just a great product. I wanted to add some wax, so I'm using Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in the white. And I just took my brush and rubbed that in, all in. I started to just go around the edges, and then I decided to coat the entire piece with that white wax. I may have went a little heavier around the edge, around the frame part of this piece, but I did coat the entire piece. And you just want to polish it in. It's like you're polishing in that wax into that paint. 
and I especially got really good around those raised parts, the flowers and the little medallions and things all in the cracks and crevices. I let it sit for a few minutes before I began wiping. I wiped off some of the excess with a piece of drop cloth, but I did want a lot of that wax to stay on. Now I'm going in with my Dixie Belle's Best Stain Wax in the brown color. And again, I initially was just going to do the outside edge with it. And then I decided to coat the entire piece as well. And just a little bit heavier on the edges than I did in the middle and on the top. I let it sit a couple minutes, wiped it back with my piece of drop cloth that I had there. I gave it a little bit of a dry and I decided to go in with a little more of the white wax. Seemed like I just wanted a little bit more. I wiped away a little too much. And I like wiping back the excess with my drop cloth. Um, I, sometimes I'll use a dry paper towel, but I really like using that drop cloth. And look how pretty all that color is and how those waxes blended. It's so beautiful on that fusion color. Now I'm just taking this little ink pad that I have, this little distressed ink pad. This is the color Walnut, and I'm just taking my blender brush and just kind of going around some of the parts of this piece, kind of on the inside edge there. And I also end up doing that scroll piece at the top over that medallion, the medallions there. And just kind of over all the raised parts. I ended up even doing the flowers. And I just thought it added a nice touch just to kind of uh, highlight, so to speak, those um, details and those raised parts of this piece. And look how pretty that looks, you guys. This was a pretty quick upcycle. I love the new look of it. I just love that fusion color so much. Let me know what you guys think of this. And thanks so much for joining me for this project. For this project, I grabbed two candlesticks. One's a little taller than the other. I'm going in with fusion in the color Chateau. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. And I was a little worried about bleed through, but I thought I would just paint a little bit to see if it was going to bleed through on me. And it did not. But if it had, I would have sprayed shellac on it and then went ahead and continued on coating this paint on. So I got the first coat on each candlestick and then I just blow dried it. I went ahead and started going on with the second coat, but I wanted to do a little bit of blending technique with this. So while that paint was still wet, I sort of worked in sections and I started with the bottom. While that paint was still wet, I took a small paintbrush and the color that I'm blotting on now is the color charcoal and that paint is Rust-Oleum Chalked. And I just did a dabbing motion all in that wet paint with that charcoal color. And like I say, I just worked in small sections because I didn't want that Chateau Fusion color to begin to dry on me before I blended in the charcoal color. And at first, I was just going to do certain parts of the candlestick, but the more I worked, the more I decided I wanted to just do this technique all over the entire candlestick.
And then I grabbed my other paintbrush and began dabbing back into the Fusion Chateau color while the charcoal paint was still wet. And then I just dabbed more of that Chateau into that charcoal color and then just began blotting up, up the candlestick. And you can see there how that color was just starting to blend and change and how beautiful it was becoming. I was loving it more and more. So I just continued on with this technique over the entire candlestick. I would just do the chateau and then I would blot in charcoal and then I would go back over that with more chateau and then sometimes I would need to darken it a little bit and if I wanted a, a section of it a little bit darker, I would blot on more of that charcoal and then same thing if I needed it lighter a little bit more, I would go in with my chateau color. But I just loved how this was turning out. And I was not planning to do this. I was just going to paint these candlesticks that chateau color. Maybe add a little bit of white wax and be done. But I don't know. I wanted to try this blending technique. And the more I worked on it, the more I loved it. So I got all of the or I've got both candlesticks completely coated. Now I'm going in with Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in the brown. And I'm just taking sort of a chippy brush and just brushing on that dark wax. And I am getting it all over the candlestick and I'm especially getting in that um, the detail of it and those cracks and I even got the top. And you almost want to like polish it in there. I let it sit for a few minutes and then I took a piece of drop cloth and I'm just wiping off the excess. But I'm not wiping off too much because I was loving that look. I did want to blend in some white wax. So this is Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in the white. And I went right over where I had just gone over with the dark wax. Then I went over with the white wax, and I love that look that it gave me. And I just brushed in that white wax, just like I did the dark, all on the detail in the cracks and crevices, the underneath, the top. I let it sit a few minutes, and then I wiped off some of the excess with, um, with that piece of drop cloth that I had there. And I just loved how these turned out. I loved that blending technique with those two paint colors and then the waxes. Let me know what you guys think of these. While I had those colors out, I grabbed this piece out of my stash and I wanted to do it very similar to how I did those candlesticks, except this time I took and put the charcoal paint first as the base coat. Um, and again, guys, this is the Rust-Oleum Chalk brand and I am very impressed with this paint. Um, it goes on so smooth and it has great coverage. I picked it up at my local Walmart. Well, I actually ordered it online, but I love it. And there's several colors that they have to choose from. Okay, so while that charcoal paint, I'm working in sections again. And as you saw, that charcoal paint was still wet. And I took the Chateau color in the Fusion and just blotted that into that wet charcoal color paint and I'm just blending those two together the only difference with this and the candlesticks is that with this again I did the charcoal first and then I blotted in the chateau color whereas with those candlesticks we did we put the chateau color and then we blotted in the charcoal but we ended up just taking turns with them um with each color and that's kind of how I end up doing this vase as well. 
I love this vase. I love the detail that it has on it. So I was excited to do this piece like I did those candlesticks. And again, I just took turns blotting in those two colors. If I needed it darker, I blotted in some charcoal. And if I needed it lighter, I blotted in the Chateau. And I had to kind of keep working this piece since, as you can see, there's four sides the way it is designed. And I would think I would be finished and then one side would look a bit darker than another side or one side would look lighter. So I kind of had to just keep working and blotting those two paint colors to get all the sides uh, where they looked the same <laughs> because I didn't want a side to be different. I, it was kind of challenging to get all four sides pretty much the same. Again, I'm going in with Dixie Belle's Best Stain Wax in the Brown and I'm just taking that chippy type paintbrush and I'm especially getting in all those details, all those raised areas of this piece. And just brushing that wax on really well. I let it sit for a few minutes and then I did take a piece of drop cloth and just wiped away a little bit of that excess. Now I'm going in with Dixie Belle's Best Stain Wax in the White going over right over where I applied the brown wax and I just love the look you get when you blend those two waxes together it is just such a pretty look I love it and I just went and blended in that white wax all in those raised areas those details and I had a little bit of DIY dark wax and I just took my finger. I know I'm out of the camera here and I'm sorry. I just took my finger and rubbed that over those raised areas and on that bottom edge. And then I just took my blender brush and just kind of blended that in. And that just made that a tad bit darker than it was. I just really wanted to highlight those raised areas. And then I wanted it look to look kind of aged, so I put a little more of that dark wax at the bottom and at the top. Sort of like where it would collect dirt if it were sitting outside for months and months on end. So I had some of these blueberries in my stash that I had made a while back. Um, all it is is foam air dry clay and um, you just roll it up in little balls just like you're playing with some play-doh and let them dry and then I painted them blue that's admiral blue just it's acrylic paint and I'm just hot gluing those I had some greenery in my stash that I just stuck in this vase and I'm just hot gluing those blueberries right on to that greenery and just making it look like a cute blueberry bush in this base and you can get that foam um, clay from Amazon I think you can get it from Walmart too but I did get mine from Amazon and look how good that looks you guys I think that turned out so pretty and it will pair so well with those candlesticks that we did also let me know what you think of this guys thanks so much for watching And let's take one last look at our finished products. We have our beautiful vintage swan decor piece that we painted with our fusion blue pine. We have our beautiful metal decor piece with the medallions and all the detail. Our beautiful candlesticks. 
that we did all that blending on and the waxes and then added those beautiful greenery half spheres and last but not least our little medallion vase with our sweet blueberries let me know what you think of these guys don't forget to like subscribe and share around